my name is Tony Randall and I came out from England in 1948 on the SS Orman after the war from London and uh, we settled here in Brisbane. I was going to Central Technical College in Brisbane to do my apprenticeship and I met Gail on the bus coming home from QIT because she was going there too doing a secretary's course. He thinks I was looking at him over my book but I really wasn't. But we met again a few days later in um, our local shopping centre. That's how we met. We decided to go to New Zealand because I couldn't get any work here much that I liked. It was a building slump and I was only working three months when I took ill and I got uh, pretty serious uh, complications of TB meningitis. Now, when I, I was unconscious for quite a few weeks, I believe it was nearly six, and um, I said to Gail, would you bring me in some cigarettes? And also, I said, could you bring my radio in? Because I love the radio, I always used to have the radio with me. And anyway, she gave me the radio, and I put it up and pressed the light button on it to get the stations that illuminated press the button and lo and behold, it wouldn't work. And I said, they go, oh, the, the kids have got the radio, they've broken it or something, you know. And she said, oh, I don't think so. And she said, try it again. And I tried it again, pressed the button and I couldn't see a thing. I was pitch black. And I said, oh, that's no good. She said, oh, hang on. She said, I'll go and see about this. And she went out and saw the sister and she said, the sister, I think Tony's blind sister. I had a severed optic nerve which was hanging by less than the thickness of a hair. And that's all I had hanging there. Um, there's lots of different challenges, but he's, we've been married for 56 years, and for 52 of those years he's been blind. Usually I uh, we have the alarm set for 6.45. If we're not in a hurry for anything really important, we can, we can sleep in a bit. But um, then I usually get up, get the porridge ready, um, put it in the microwave, boil a jug, make a cup of tea, and get it all ready. Then I get, call Gail, and she comes out and puts some milk on and fruit or whatever I'm going to have on me with my porridge. And then uh, I pour the teas. Because you've got to be very careful with uh, pouring things that you're on the right place, otherwise you end up with it all in the sink or on the floor. Just go down and water some plants. Yeah. And uh, get some rubbish in the rubbish tin. Yeah. And I'll be right. I'll go down to the garden as soon as I'm finished upstairs, everything's done. I say to go, I'm only going down for 10 minutes, but I usually stand anywhere up to, up to an hour and a half down there usually. It'll be five minutes, it's a long five minutes. I was looking for something to keep me occupied. There was a, um, a community visitor scheme run by the Baptist Church at Wynnum and they uh, wanted volunteers to go and talk to patients. Today we're headed out to, to visit John at the nursing home. Well, I've been going over 15 years now and uh, you get a badge at one year, five years, 10 years and 15 years. The person I visit now is a loves singing and we sing a song together and play music and he loves his breakfast. He has a full breakfast every morning. And my first question is, do you have did you have a good breakfast this morning? He says, Yes, full breakfast. No, no. No, no. Good morning. Can we come here? Have a good morning and a good talk and I'll see you all later and I'll pick you up. Do you have a good breakfast this morning? Yeah, well, yes, a full breakfast. Full breakfast this good. morning, good. Got myself a crying, talking, sleeping, walking, living dull. My name is Tony Randall. I'm a grandfather, a great grandfather, an ex tradesman. I've been married for 57 years, and I'm legally blind.